Today is Tuesday, April 26, 2022. I'm Pastor Michael, and this is Wilderness Wanderings. Our text is from Luke 24. They got up and returned at once to Jerusalem. There they found the eleven and those with them assembled together and saying, It is true, the Lord has risen and has appeared to Simon. Then the two told what had happened on the way and how Jesus was recognized by them when he broke the bread. Verses 33 to 34. Remember, remember, much of life is about remembering. When families get back together after being apart for a while, they talk about the present, they may talk about the future, but eventually they will get around to talking about the past, remembering. One story will lead to another and another and another. Much of it is just light-hearted fun recounting each other's quirks and quirks. Yet often, there is something deeper going on as well. The storytelling gives shape to meaning. We share the stories that fashioned us, that forged our strength and formed our lingering fears. These are the events that unite families or sometimes, sadly, tear them apart. Hearing and telling the past creates opportunities to set our history in a broader context, to see patterns that were not visible while we lived the events. Also, openings arise for us to forgive, to heal, to let go, to begin new chapters, to travel new pathways. This is exactly what happened on that first Easter Sunday. Recall, it began with sorrow and fear and confusion. With Jesus' crucifixion, hopes have been dashed. The empty tomb added insult to injury, and all this followed by those reports that Jesus was alive and making appearances. We have traveled with two of Jesus' disciples as they returned home from Jerusalem, utterly bewildered and undoubtedly not believing the stories of resurrection. As Jesus joined them to explain the scriptures about himself, our hearts too burned. We wonder if we would have recognized him any earlier than they did. Not likely, we must admit. It was only in the breaking of the bread that they saw him for who he was. This act triggered their memory. They had seen him do this before. It was him. It was Jesus. He has risen indeed. What do they do? They hurry back to Jerusalem. Almost certainly, based on the other Gospels, they go to the upper room where, just a few days ago, Jesus had broken bread, and as he passed it to his disciples, said, Eat this bread in remembrance of me. This is where they go to tell their story. To add it to all the other stories that are piling up one on top of the other. And slowly, bit by bit, the Holy Spirit will help this motley crew of half-hearted and bewildered disciples to make sense of it all. But before understanding, they must witness, that is, tell their story to the other followers. Their sorrow has been transformed into joy as their master broke bread with them. They have good news. It must be shared. They had convinced Jesus not to travel on because the hour was late. Now it is even later. But return to Jerusalem they must. Some good news just can't wait. This will become the story that creates a believing community. Therefore, the story must be told over and over. It cannot be forgotten. We must tell it and retell it. It is the story that has fashioned the church. It is our story. Parents tell it. Teachers tell it. Grandparents tell it. We must tell it to each other. It's the story of God's grace. It's the story that enables us to travel new roads, to get off the roads of death and travel the pathways of life. And to this story, we add new stories. Stories of the risen, bread-breaking Lord making himself known to us. What helps you? Remember the old, old story? One wilderness wanderer listener wrote in about his Holy Spirit tree. Every time he passes that tree, he remembers the mighty Spirit of God who raised Jesus from the dead and prays for fresh spirit winds to blow. In the Old Testament, Israel was instructed to pile up rocks. These rocks pointed back to a great work of God which shaped Israel. As they traveled, they would tell the story, remembering the past shaping the present, and giving hope for the future. What stories can you tell? How has our resurrected 
bread-breaking Lord be blowing in your life. Tell the old, old story, then add to it your encounters with Jesus. As you journey on, go with the blessing of God. May the peace of the Lord Christ go with you wherever he may send you. May he guide you through the wilderness, protect you through the storm. May he bring you home rejoicing at the wonders he has shown you. May he bring you home rejoicing once again into our doors.